Crichton's rule of fifths describes the relationship between how much of the fetal head is palpable above the pelvic rim and how much of the head has entered the maternal pelvis. It divides the fetal head on abdominal palpation into five equal fifths, each corresponding to approximately one fifth of the head's bulk. During abdominal palpation, in the examiner estimates how much of the fetal head can still be felt above the symphysis pubis. It was described by Sir Crichton, a British obstetrician, in the early 20th century. If the head is five-fifth palpable above symphysis pubis, it is a floating head and station is minus five. Four-fifth of palpable head indicates head dipping into the brim and station is minus four. If it is three-fifth palpable, it is entering the pelvis and station is minus three. If it is two-fifth palpable above the pubic symphysis, it indicates that the head is almost engaged and station is minus one to zero. If it is only one fifth palpable above the rim, it means the head is fully engaged and station is zero. If it is not palpable abdominally, it means the head is fully occupying the pelvic cavity and the station is plus one or below. Remember, these correspondences are approximate and depend on maternal habitus and head molding. This method is used. before vaginal examination to assess engagement of the fetal head it is commonly employed during antenatal visits in third trimester and in labor progress for charting a partogram the rule of fifths standardized an objective reproducible method of describing engagement in antenatal records and labor charts now i will demonstrate how to determine the station of the fetal head by abdominal palpation for this Place the fingers of the right hand transversely on the fetal head and measure the number of fingers from the pubic bone to the base of the baby's head. A head that is floating will be mobile and fit five fingers above the pubic symphysis. As the head descends, the portion of the head remaining above the brim will fit fewer fingers as seen here. Here is a mnemonic to remember the rule of fifths. 5 above not in none above fully in